Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a quick review on these heaters. Uh, these are real popular right now with fall coming. And they work really good. They're kind of safe for kids to be around in that because they don't get hot. And it looks like a piece of furniture. It's got a nice little drawer. But there's a few things I want to show you. It's got a power button. And that's the. it's got this handy little remote that comes with it. But you can change the temperature you want it to get at in here. But the main thing I want to show you is you want to make sure these things go on a time delay because everybody forgets to kind of turn them off. So it cycles. If you hit this this hourglass, that cycles through. When it's so after two hours, it'll turn off. Three hours, four hours, five hours, six, seven, eight, or zero. So after 30 minutes, one hour. So I always use that timer button. That way I never forget to turn off because these things are quiet. Um, and we've actually left one running uh, all night. It didn't do any damage or anything, but it was just kind of, I want to let everybody know about that. Okay, if you can see, they get a nice little glow in there. And I'm going to show you that what that's glowing later. But you get a nice, it's got a fan, it's blowing air out, it's nice and hot. Now these things, I got this in the basement, and you pretty much got to keep it right wherever you're at. It's not going to heat a whole basement. Okay, so when you're not pressing any buttons, the display reverts to, that's the temperature of the room right now. But if I want to change the temperature of the room, the kids had it set on 97, so say I want to just get the room up to 75. Okay, so this thing will shut the heater off once it gets up to that temperature. So it's going to sense the room temperature, and then it's going to try to maintain that, but it seems like it never really gets a room up to really a high temperature. Okay, so here's the back side of it. It's got a really heavy duty uh, wire cable. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's plugged into an outlet. I wouldn't pl plug a bunch of other stuff into the outlet. Here's what the back of it looks like. It's got a cord storage there. And then this is where it draws the air in. You can feel it sucking air in right there. Okay, so something I didn't know is there's a little filter on the back here. And my filter is actually a little dirty. So I'm gonna take that off and clean it. Another thing I want to show you, so when you turn these things off, okay, so the fan is going to continue to run. That heating element in there, you don't want that, you want air to continue to cross that for a while. So you got to leave it plugged in. The fan will turn off eventually, but it's going to blow, it's continue to blow some hot air, even though you've got it turned off for a little bit. Okay, so I was just curious what these guys, what these things look like on the inside. So I took the back cover, I've got four screws. Make sure you got it unplugged. But it looks like a little timing card there. And this is the fan. Okay, so I turned it over on the bottom. It's got um, five screws on the bottom you gotta take out. Okay, so like I thought, you take those screws out on the bottom, taking this back cover off didn't do anything, but these are like units. So you see these all over the place. It looks like this is just a standard unit that they slide into a piece of furniture. Okay, so like it's a big metal box. Yeah, this is probably just a standard thing they put in like all kinds of furniture. Here's what the front of it looks like. Okay, so I'm really trying to see what the heating element is. I thought it was a bulb, but it's actually a heating element that heats up and glows. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but I'm not going to take it anymore apart. But yeah, so it's actually a heating element. It's not a bulb. I thought it was like a, a heat lamp bulb or something. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the video. I'm going to use a temperature gun to see what the temperature coming out of there is. So anywhere around 130, you know, it's hard to, I don't want to point it in there and get on the metal. That might read a little hotter. But if I put my hand up to it, you know, it's kind, it's hot. Now, if I keep it there for a long time, it's going to burn. Yeah, it, it's, it's hot enough to where it's actually going to burn you. But nothing gets hot around the cabinet. Uh, so if you're like right here, it's not going to burn you too bad. But, so again, the display is gonna display the current temperature in the room. I always wanna make sure I got it on some kind of time delay because it seems like these things are so quiet I forget they're, they're working. So like I said, that's the one hour. So after one hour, this thing will shut off. And again, when you do shut them off, if you shut it off manually, so you can see the, the heating element's cooling down, but the fan's gonna continue to run for a while. So these heaters come in all kinds of different styles, but I think the unit inside is pretty much the same. 
So again, this is just a dad. These things are uh, nice to have around. They don't heat big rooms, but um, they do kind of blow some hot air on you. So again, if you could please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.